Hey, Badger Buddies, here are amazing birds that are evil. Number six. First up in this pecking order is perhaps the most venerated bird in the world. It is the national bird of Germany, Austria, Mexico, and Kazakhstan, and it's featured on the coat of arms of nearly a dozen other countries. The Golden Eagle! The Golden Eagle is so formidable that Mongolians used to use them to hunt wolves. These raptors will fearlessly nosedive in and take down animals that are three times their body weight. And don't mess with this bird because it will literally drop you. <laughs> One of its go-to methods to find dinner is to spot a mountain goat climbing on the side of a cliff. The eagle will swoop in out of nowhere and knock the goat from the ledge. The thing falls hundreds of feet and then the eagle flies down to the ground to enjoy a nice fresh goat pancake. And it doesn't stop with goats. The golden eagle absolutely loves turtles. When they spy Yertle walking around, the golden eagle will scoop it up and take off. When it reaches a high enough altitude, he'll drop him like he's James Bond from GoldenEye. For England, James? Number five. Pelicans are notorious for swallowing anything. They're like the sorority girls of the sky. Typically something you don't want to be known for, but the pelican really embraces this reputation. Anything that it can fit in its gaping mouth is fair game. And not just fish and crustaceans. Pelicans will consume ducks, pigeons, and African penguins in one big gulp. Big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. This swallowing method is truly brutal on whatever is being eaten because it's a real slow way to go. If you're swallowed whole by a pelican, you're doomed to spend the rest of your agonizing life suffocating in an acid-filled stomach sack. I'm gonna let you finish, pelican, but Boba Fett in the Sarlacc pit had the best prolonged digestion of all time. <laughs> Number four. Everyone knows warbler birds for their lovely singing voice. But what's less known about the warbler is that they are evil maniacs. The issue is that the male warbler birds are real players. They'll hook up with a female one time and then just fly the coop. This guy puts the bird in birds and the bees. Trouble comes because one male starts to be the cause for nests full of eggs all over town. And these guys have this weird rule that they will only help care for the first nestlings that actually hatch. To have better odds of getting this deadbeat dad to help out with the kids, the mommy warbler will go around and attempt to smash the eggs of other females. It's a real scramble. Number three, shrikes are small, pudgy, and generally average-looking songbirds that live across Eurasia and Africa. But don't let their unassuming demeanor mislead you. This feathered fowl is a heartless savage. So what makes them so vicious? When they're hungry, the shrike will grab their prey, usually a lizard or a mouse, fly it to a thorny tree, then skewer it on one of the sharp spikes. And after that, it's dinner time. Anyone else hungry for kebabs? Number two. The Kia bird is an olive green parrot that lives in New Zealand. They're cool looking birds, but what makes them horrible is that they have a bad case of neophilia. Oh snap, I just said the word of the day, neophilia. This word is cool because it's a direct translation of its Greek roots. Neo meaning new and philia meaning affection. Neophilia is the love of new things. And side note, feel by itself means love. So philosophy means lover of knowledge. Philanthropist means lover of humanity. And Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Words are fun. Because it's a neophile, the Kia will take or destroy anything new that it comes across. This feathered nuisance is known to grab and take passports, bite and break rubber seals around windows. Oh, and they also eat sheep alive. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, 
and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number one. Coming in at number one is the biggest bird on the block. Unless, of course, you're living on Sesame Street. Male ostriches can grow up to nine feet tall and weigh more than 330 pounds. Don't be fooled by their size. These behemoths are crazy fast and can run at speeds of 45 miles an hour. The reason that they're arguably the most dangerous bird in the world is due to their Bruce Lee-like ability to deliver devastating kicks that are capable of taking down a lion. On the business end of those kicks are long claws that are able to tear through a human body like tissue paper. Although unprovoked attacks on humans are rare, ostriches are known to go full Chun-Li on anyone who makes them feel cornered. Hayuken! In the South African region of Achum, about three ostrich attacks occur every year and usually result in serious injury. Oddly enough, in 1981, singer Johnny Cash had a pet ostrich who went after the man in black during his afternoon walk. Caught in a ring of fire, Cash tried to defend himself with a large stick. The ostrich dodged the blow and countered with a direct kick. <laughs> Luckily, Cash was wearing an oversized belt buckle that absorbed the strike and likely saved his life. After that, whenever he was around the ostrich, Cash always made sure to walk the line. 